consider two masses m1 and m2 moving in some random direction with velocities v1 and v2 respectively. Then the velocity of the center of mass of these two masses will be given by this expression. Next, what we are going to do is find the velocity of m1 and m2 with respect to the center of mass. That is, we are going to shift our origin of the coordinate system to the center of mass and then find the velocity of m1 and m2 with respect to the center of mass. Just like how we find relative velocities between any two or three bodies. That is, we are going to get the velocity of m1 with respect to the center of mass as call the expression for velocity of center of mass as equation number one and the expression for velocity of m1 with respect to the center of mass as equation number two. Similarly, we can find the velocity of m2 with respect to center of mass and call it equation number three. Next, what we can do is divide equation number three with equation number two and then find a relationship between v2c and v1c. If we divide equation 3 by equation 2, we are going to get the velocity of uh, center of mass of m2 is uh, minus m1 upon m2 times uh, the velocity of center of mass of m1. What I want you to notice here is the negative sign. That is, the negative sign implies that the velocity of center of mass of m2 is always in the opposite direction of the velocity of center of mass of M1. And that is just mind-blowing.